morning, everyone. Since you're here, welcome to the Nerd Bar. It is indeed morning. It's 6.44 on a Saturday morning. And why am I filming this early? Because when you have a really, really busy work schedule, and you got kids, and they have all kinds of activities, you find the time when you find the time. So welcome to Saturday morning, and welcome to part two of the weekly toy haul. This is Bots Joe's Masters and a wrestler. So let's get started. All right, so you all know the format of this thing, or maybe you don't. I'm gonna show you all this stuff on the bar. Some of the stuff I'm gonna take out of package, show you up close, do a little showcase. But speaking of that wrestler that I was talking about, this is Finn Balor. I got the Finn Balor, what series is this? Top Picks, Elite Top Picks Finn Balor. Uh, it's the one that they use the face scan technology, and that's pretty good face scan right there. If you're a WWE fan, Finn Balor fan, that is a pretty darn good face scan right there. So I got that one. This one will come out of package. You'll see that one in the next segment. Speaking of some bots, I got some of these vintage mini bots. Uh, I think I'm caught up on the vintage mini bots. Maybe not, because I think they're doing another wave warpath. Maybe some Gears action, I'm not sure. I saw some rumblings online, but I got Tailgate, and I got Bumblebee. So the thing about this Bumblebee is it is a new face on this Bumblebee. Very, very awesome. Very G1. Very beautiful. Love it. Childhood right here. And here's Tailgate, better known as Repaint Wind Charger. And I love Wind Charger. So I love Tailgate by default. I got some of these Siege. Siege. I like saying the word Siege. Transformers Warp Cybertron. Bots. I got Hound. This dude's definitely coming out of package in the next one. Because I freaking love these Siege bots. I just opened up Ultra Magnus the other day. He looks freaking glorious. And I can't wait to open up this one too. Sideswipe. How G1 does that look? Good lord. That is so freaking G1. That's supposed to be a Cybertronian version of his alt mode, but still looks pretty darn G1, if you ask me. Because this is War for Cybertron. They're on Cybertron. If you saw the Bumblebee movie, the opening scene on Cybertron, part of the reason I want to buy these, because these things remind me of the look and feel of those Autobots in that opening scene of Bumblebee. And I hope we see more of that because that was freaking awesome. I love these figures. I love the way they look. I love the G1 representation. And again, they remind me of Bumblebee, the opening scene. So there you go. There's Siege, War for Cybertron. Whoa! That's a big transformer right there. So I bought this one from my buddy Toy Bills. Follow him on Instagram, follow him on YouTube. But I got this Devastator. This is the big combiner Devastator. And uh, I'm gonna show you this one out of box because he is fantastic. And I have a question for everyone watching this video. If you're a Transformers fan and you bought this Devastator and you might have bought a couple upgrade kits, I have a question for you once I get this guy out of box. I got some Joes, some Joes. I got these two from my buddy Michael Taylor. Here is the Clutch alternate version. This is the uh, G.I. Joe Subscription Club Clutch. He is awesome. And then I got this guy right here. Uh, Red Shadows Weapons Technician. Looks like Cobra Commander. Same pose as Cobra Commander. But this is from, and correct me if I'm wrong, they did a, a UK counterpart called Action Force. And I believe this guy was the bad guy that opposed the action force in the UK. So there you go. Got those two from Michael Taylor. You're the man, Michael. I appreciate it. Uh, I bought some Loose Joes. I got these from Toy Department. I got Barbecue. These are all 25th Joes. There's Barbecue. I got Roadblock. Anyone ask for a body massage? I got Deep Six, 
And yes, I know. <laughs> he has very, very little articulation. Ridiculously so. But I like the way he looks. He looks awesome. I got Beachhead. And this is uh, the 25th Beachhead, so uh, he looks a little different because his uh, tactical vest there isn't connected. Uh, usually in the cartoon, that was one piece, and he had the uh, magazines in the chest, but this one is kind of open there. But I like... Beach has one of my favorite characters like of G.I. Joe, so I just thought he was freaking awesome. So pretty much any version of Beachhead, I'm going to want and collect. So there's the 25th version of Beachhead. Here's Bazooka. I always thought he was awesome because you got a bunch of these military guys, these special forces guys, and then you got a guy in a football jersey. And I always thought it was so cool that he was just a dude that rocked a football jersey on the battlefield and shot rockets out of a bazooka. So very, very awesome. 25th bazooka. And then I got Snow Job. Always a fan of the snow-related figures from G.I. Joe. I really want a Frostbite and an Iceberg, but those were both club figures, so they're a little pricey, a little up there. I think uh, Frostbite goes for 50, Iceberg goes for like 100, or vice versa, one of those. But I got Snow Job. He's the uh, original snow guy. He's very, very cool. Comes with skis. Um, he's awesome. I love the way he looks. One of my favorite figures as a kid, too. And then I got the, uh, pol I think this was called the Polar Cat? Polar Bear? I don't remember. Uh, but this was a Target exclusive. Uh, this was not the original, so this was redone, and they did this version, which was basically just a remold of the original um, Snowcat Polar Bear. I wish I could remember the name of this thing right now, but uh, they did a, a re-release, Target exclusive, and then they did like a, it was called the ATV Rock Slide, which was like a modern version, which I do not like. It, it looks nothing like this. This is, this is classic right here. This is a classic model right here. So I, I bought this off of eBay for like, I think it was like $20 shipped. So that snow job could basically just stand next to it. And I think they look cool together. So there you go. Those are my Joes, those are Joes I bought. Which leaves us to some Masters classics. Uh, as you might know, if you watch my videos, I am currently fighting off a Masters Classics addiction. I got into them late last year, and uh, I just kind of... I'm trying to buy as many as I can. I'm running out of ones to buy. Uh, there's a lot of expensive ones left, but I got these, for the most part, at retail, which is really cool. So here's the first one, King Randor. I needed a Randor because I have Marlena. And I have an Adam, and I have a Cringer. I still need an Adora, but I uh, needed a Randor because that's He-Man's dad right there. So he's coming out of package. Next segment, I got the uh, Serpentine King Hiss. There's two versions of, or there's a few versions of King Hiss. Uh, there's one where he's just uh, in dude version. Does it show it on the back? It does not show dude version, guy version of King Hiss on the back, but. This one right here is really cool because this is his uh, exposed snake form. He is very snaky, as you can see there. He's coming out of package. I really want to see this one and uh, see if those snakes are on like bendy wires, if you can pose them and whatnot. He's coming out of package. Devastator's coming out of package. I'm not sure what else is coming out of package, but we'll find out, won't we? I got some... Uh, New Adventures figures. I love these New Adventures figures. Uh, partly because like I wasn't really into the series New Adventures when it came out. And I saw the toys. I'm like, oh, interesting. It's cool to be able to get into them finally. In my 40s. Bam. Uh, so I got Hydron. They're called Galactic Protectors, but I like to think of them as like Knights of the Round Table in space. That's kind of how they were presented on the cartoon, New Adventures. So there's Hydron. And I got the leader of Hootie and the Blowfish, Darius. Not Rucker. <laughs> this guy. Uh, he was only 20 bucks at Toy Department. Heck of a deal. And that's a great sculpt. I think I might take this one out just to show you the sculpt on this guy. There's Darius. He only wants to be with you. I don't know many Hootie songs. I would do more bad Hootie puns right now, but 
I, I just know that one song. There's Flog, he's also from New Adventures, and then there's Hydron. So I'll take this guy out of package. Here's Slushhead. This is one of the bad guys from New Adventures. He's awesome. I love the name too, Slushhead. Scaly Goon Squad Thug. That's probably the coolest description of a figure I've ever seen. So I'm gonna take some Motus out of the package. I'm gonna take uh, Devastator out. Maybe one of those Siege bots. And then uh, I'll show you those up close. I usually don't show you this part. I usually just skip right to all these figures being nicely opened and displayed, but I do actually open these figures in between segments here, obviously, but it's story time with Cincy. I have uh, some nieces and nephews, and they're getting older now, and to the point where they're very honest with you, and they love YouTube. It's weird because I think a lot of kids nowadays, that's all they watch is YouTube. They're not going to understand what a TV show is uh, by the time they're older because they literally, my girls included, only watch YouTube. It's insane. And they watch weird stuff, at least I think it's weird, like people playing Minecraft. One of those is my nephew, and uh, last time I saw him, he actually came up to me. This is loud, by the way. I th it's freaking Darius too. Mr. Rucker doesn't want to come out of his package. My nephew came up to me and he goes, Hey Uncle Cincy, and he didn't call me Cincy, he called me my, my, actual, <laughs> my actual name. Hey Uncle Cincy, I started watching your videos and they're really cringy. Seven year old. A seven year old told me my videos are cringy. And I thought to myself, uh, I've seen this kid eat his own boogers. I've seen this kid with poop on his face. And he tells me my videos are cringy. Follow the source, ladies and gentlemen. Kids nowadays. So if you're watching nephew of mine, hopefully you didn't think that this little discussion was cringy. And hopefully those boogers you're eating taste good. I've uh, moved on. Now I'm opening Hydron. Here's story time part two. <clears throat> so in a recent video, I had a viewer um, say that he thumbs down the video because I burped on screen. And um, no problem with that at all. First of all, I appreciate you watching the video. And I understand that you uh, thought it was probably childish that I burped on screen. Which it is. Uh, but part of the reason that I do these videos is to show you more of who I am. I think one of the most important things to do as a YouTuber is to be yourself and not try and be a different person, not try and be like a personality. Be yourself. Because you can tell when someone's like acting or trying to be someone else. So myself is the kind of person, I am childish. Um, I still collect toys, so I guess that's kind of childish um, or nerdy, I don't know, whatever. But I'm the kind of person that will walk up to a friend I've walked up to Mrs. Cincy before and just burped <laughs> and then laughed and then walked away. So, and it, sometimes it gets chuckles, sometimes it gets laughs, sometimes they shake their head, but that's just me. That's, that's who I am as a person. So I'm a goofy person, I'm childish. So I wanna share that with you guys. If I had a burp right now, I would burp on camera right now, but I don't have one because I haven't had any soda this morning yet. Um, but there you go. Thank you for watching the video. No ill will whatsoever that you thumbs down the video because I burped. Hey, there's Hydron. I'll show you these guys in just a second. I got a couple more to open. Let's see if another story pops out of my head, but I'll be right back. Okay, I just opened up Randor. Doesn't Randor kind of remind you of the Burger King King? I don't know. Maybe to me he does. Um, <clears throat> one more thing did pop in my head. Uh, I actually went back for nostalgia reasons and just started watching some of my early episodes on this channel because I'm coming up to episode 300. I've been doing this for a couple years now. I've had a lot of fun doing it, but my channel's changed a lot, partly because of what I've been collecting. So I first started this channel mostly as like a pop channel. I, th I think my first few episodes were mostly pops. So if you are one of the original viewers of this channel, because of pops. Son of a bee. His frickin' hand is really, really hard to get this staff in. 
Anyway, as I was saying, if you were originally watching this channel because you were a pop collector, and you're still watching this to this day, thank you. Because uh, I don't really do a lot of pops anymore. I've moved on to <clears throat> stuff basically from my childhood, stuff that reminds me of being a kid. So uh, if you watch me purely for me, uh, you, you guys are like my favorite viewers out there. Obviously, I appreciate people that watch it for like the actual figures and toys and stuff. Uh, but if you're watching this just because of me, just because you like my personality and you like me, you don't collect this stuff, but you watch anyway, I applaud you. Thank you very much. I just wanted to say that because I was uh, watching some of my old stuff, checking out my old production value, and uh, I was like, man, I did a lot of pops back then. Like every episode was a pop hunt. So, sorry I'm not doing more pops if you're a huge pop collector. It's just a lot of stuff out there that I'm, I'm just a lot more interested in. There you go. Thanks again for watching. And I am ready, if you're ready, to showcase this stuff. Be right back. All right, got everything unboxed here. Got my Masters unboxed, Devastator. I'm gonna start over here with the Siege stuff though. First of all, I don't know if I showed this in the previous clip, but look at that box art. That box art is freaking gorgeous right there. Sideswipe, Hound. The figures are pretty cool too, I gotta say. I do like them. I like the uh, paint on them, the weathering. It seems like that's kind of the ongoing theme with these Siege figures is that they are in a war. So they do have weathering on them. Dirt, scrapes, scuffs. But here is side swipe, looking very G1-ish. And then here is Hound. Again, look at that paintwork. Very, very cool. Love the paint. There's the scuff action, dirt action, grimy metal. As it should look, since these guys are at war. But there is Hound. Here is the Finn Balor figure that I picked up. Not the demon. There's the detail on the uh, knee pads and the boots. And he does come with interchangeable hands. This is a new thing that they're doing in addition to the uh, digital face printing technology. They've got the interchangeable hands so he can do that thing that he does during his entrance with his hands. There's the other hands that just pop in and out. Uh, by the way, at the end of this segment, I'm going to do a uh, comparison segment. Just a quick one. I'm going to show the Demon Finn Balor with this one. I'm going to show the Ultra Magnus that I unboxed with these two. Uh, and then here is the Devastator Combiner Wars. Now the question that I had for you guys out there, if you purchased this Combiner Wars Devastator and you purchased one of the add-on kits to beef it up, let me know which one you picked up and why you like it the most because there's a few that are out there. I know the Perfect Effect makes one. There's a couple others out there. But I want to specifically beef up the shoulder joint so that the arm doesn't look like that with that single connection point there. I know that there's a way to beef it up, make it look bigger. Um, some of them have uh, alternate heads where he can actually tilt his head up as opposed to just swivel. Um, I'll, I think all of them have the attachment for that foot there so it's not so skinny. But let me know if you picked up this Combiner Wars Devastator, which add-on kit did you buy because I want to buy one for my Devastator. Uh, he is very very big. I don't have his gun right now. Um, it's actually with Billy. I accidentally left it there but I uh, need to get his gun and need to get an add-on kit but he looks great and again I'll show you uh, how he looks in comparison with uh, a Masterpiece figure because I think he might be closer to scale with a Masterpiece figure versus these Hasbro figures. So I'll show you the comparison there in the next segment. And then real quick, here are the Masters figures that I picked up. I love them. They're freaking amazing, especially this one. This one really surprised me. Uh, all the arms there have like bendy wire in them so you can pose them. I did not know that he came with weapons, so that was very, very cool. The little snake heads can hold the weapons, so he comes with the sword, uh, the mace, the spear, and a shield. So very, very awesome. I like that head. He does come with this alternate head too. But this is a really cool figure. This is my first Snake Man figure. 
So I'll probably start uh, a collection of those very soon. And then here's King Randor. Next segment I'll show you how he looks with uh, his queen, Marlena. But uh, there's King Randor, aka the Burger King guy. And then here's the new Adventures figures that I picked up. Hydron, very bubbly looking right there in that suit. Kind of a weird looking little trident weapon. And then here is Darius. He's such a baby that the dolphins make him cry. And no one will get that reference <laughs> unless you know a Hootie and the Blowfish song. And Hydron just went down for the count. But he's pretty cool. I mean, look at this face sculpt. With the beard and the hair. They did a great job on that face sculpt. Pretty awesome. And then here's Slush Head. Looking very slushy. These uh, little arms here, these kind of Doc Ock looking arms. Had a hard time getting those in there. I ended up having to heat up the little backpack holes that they go in, because they go into that backpack there. I just stuck them in front of a space heater, heated them up, and then heated up the actual tentacles themselves, and then they, they went in a lot better. But there is Slush Head. So what I'll do is uh, I'm going to pick up Hydron and I'm going to show you these guys with their uh, New Adventures counterparts. I'm going to show you Randor with Marlena. I'm going to show you some size comparisons with Devastator. And I'm going to show you Ultra Magnus with these two guys. And I'm going to show you Demon Balor with Rockstar Balor right there. So let's do it. Alright, here's some group shots. So here is the side swipe and hound with the Ultra Magnus. Really like that scale right there. Magnus is, I don't know, he's a, a tad bit short, but I think it works overall. And then there is Devastator behind them. You can see the true size of Devastator there. And I'm kind of going back and forth because I'm not sure if Devastator works better for these guys, the Hasbro guys, or the Masterpiece. Because there's Masterpiece Megatron right there, and you can see his scale to Devastator. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to rewatch the cartoon and see truly how big Devastator was. I think it might be more towards Masterpiece scale right there, but there you go. That'll give you an idea of how big Devastator is and how big Magnus is. There's Magnus, by the way. Love this figure. Absolutely love it. And these are pretty cool, too. And then there is Balor with the Demon. Pretty cool shot there. And then there is the king and his queen, Randor, Marlena. They look fantastic together. And then last but not least, here are my new Adventures figures. I'm going to start with these guys back here. Slushhead looks great with Skeletor, Flog, and Karate. I do still need an optic, and I can't for the life of me remember the name of the other guy that I need, but... Um, I need him too. And then here are the good guys, the Space Knights, as I like to think of them. There's He-Man, Hydron, Tuscador, and Hootie right there. I promise you this is the last Hootie joke that you will hear with regard to Darius. But he looks good with the group. Love it. Love the new Adventures figures. Love, love, love. All around beautiful all right so that's it for this video thank you for watching liking commenting subscribing sharing thumbs upping i appreciate that um part three i'm gonna shoot later on today after i go see the lego movie part two with my fam taking the girls taking uh, miss cincy to go see lego movie part two and then i'm gonna shoot part three of this haul video um i already have a haul. <laughs> i already have a haul for the next week that I have to shoot too, a lot of stuff's coming in recently. But uh, next part's gonna be two 12 inch scale, non hot toy figures that look fantastic, both X-Men related, um, two Mezcos, and two Dragon Ball Z SH Figure Arts figures. Check out that video. I have something in my eye right now, it's bothering me. But I need to go get ready for the movie Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. And join the Nerd Bar on Facebook. Adios.